sector ecology duty has been around for a few years now and it's very uh, important obligation on public service including organisations such as the Wales Audit Office, other regulators and inspectors. It's a different way of looking at the services that are provided to try and make sure that they're meeting everybody's needs and particularly that they're not uh, excluding certain people from accessing services or even discriminating against particular groups in society. The public sector equality duty has enormous potential to drive change. One particular example that I'd like to mention is to do with looked after children. We know that looked after children tend not to prosper as well as other children. They may not get a very good education. If they don't get a very good education, they may not be in a very good position to enter the labour market. If they don't enter the labour market, maybe young people get in trouble with police, with probation, possibly their mental health may deteriorate. So one of the very important things that the public sector equality duty can do is to focus on the needs of looked after children, to try and ensure that they're getting the education they need and for the Wales Audit Office to be able to talk to public service to highlight how important it is to intervene early in children's lives to make sure that they get their education and therefore they've got a much better chance of having uh, a fulfilled uh, life in which they're able to contribute. And the important point about that is, in a time of scarce resources, is it may be difficult to find the resource to give those children the best start in life, but if you can find that resource, it will save so much in subsequent years, save money to public service as well as benefiting that individual. So the public sector equality duty can look either quite small areas of life or, or very, very big areas. And I think it's important to remember as well that it's not only about avoiding discrimination and avoiding disadvantage. I think what the public sector equality duty can take you into is um, looking at ways of, of preventing problems. The Wales Audit Office has a responsibility to look at efficiency, effectiveness and economy and I think it's particularly where we're looking at the effectiveness of public services that the public sector equality duty comes into its own because it's really important that our public services meet everybody's needs. From a Wales Audit Office perspective it's very important for the, there to be engagement with um, groups whether that's ethnic minority people, disabled people, lesbian, gay, bisexual people, women and men, people of different religious backgrounds, younger people and older people because it's important to know who's benefiting from public services that we provide and equally important is to know who's not benefiting. So if disabled people are unable to access a particular service or if uh, lesbian and gay people for example are more likely to be homeless than other people it's really important for the Wales Audit Office to have a very good knowledge of the, the picture of Wales, who's act accessing services and who isn't. The Wales Office, Audit Office is obviously a massively influential and respected organisation. The kind of recommendations that can emerge from their reviews are taken very seriously. So this is a real opportunity to drive change and I think at a time of financial austerity it's absolutely vital that public service isn't spending money in ways that are ineffective, providing services that aren't meeting people's needs or overlooking um, the needs of certain sections of, com of the community. So they might be quite Quite small um, groups of people such as uh, gypsy travellers um, but nevertheless um, it's very important to meet everybody's needs. What we know is that a gypsy traveller parent is 20 times more likely than any other member of the community to see their child die um, and this is for a whole range of factors like accidents and uh, illnesses, inability to access health services um, and so it's really important that public service is aware of that and indeed that the Wales Audit Office is aware of that because otherwise they're not able to steer public service in the, the direction of meeting those people's needs. The 
Equality and Human Rights Commission would advise that um, a very important first step in getting to grips with the public sector equality duty is to get the information you need. The Equality and Human Rights Commission publishes lots of information and we're in 2015 will be producing um, a very big review of the state of equality and human rights in Wales. We'll be identifying um, the experience of individuals within the world of work, in terms of who gets educated, who lives a long life, who encounters particular illnesses, and to actually have that very accurate picture of Wales, where public service is meeting people's needs and where it isn't, is important for the Wales Audit Office to know where those problems are and to get to a position where public service can be held to account. Are they meeting people's needs? And if not, what could they do better? The Equality and Human Rights Commission is very pleased with the impact so far that the public sector equality duties had in Wales, but it's only a beginning and much of the work of the Wales Audit Office is about continuous improvement and that is what we need to see. I think it's a quite challenging time with financial restrictions, but there's always more that can be done. And one particular example I'd like to mention um, is around some workplace policies that the Equality and Human Rights Commission has developed in partnership with Public Service. <clears throat> These are policies that enable people who may have mental health conditions or may be living in violent homes, um, policies to support them in work so that they don't fall out of the workplace, that they don't go off sick prematurely and then end up losing their jobs. And we're enormously um, impressed at the way that public service has embraced these, the, these policies that uh, really assist people to stay in work and, and to make a contribution. One particular example I'd like to mention relates to um, the health service and how it caters for people who are visually impaired or have hearing impairments. Very many older people in Wales have those kind of impairments and they may be unable to access health services in relation to other physical ailments. If they're not able to communicate and don't realise um, what they're being asked or what the opportunities there are to access services. so. Um, one of the things that we're doing as the Equality and Human Rights Commission this year is we're monitoring uh, the health service in terms of uh, those impairments. And that's just one example. The Wales Audit Office may um, be looking at other aspects and I think it's a question of uh, working together to try and uh, uh, really improve services across the piece for every citizen in Wales. Like the public sector equality duty, there are positive obligations in terms of human rights. So that public service isn't all about avoiding breaching human rights, it's also about helping individuals' human rights to be upheld when there may be pressures from elsewhere. So for example, the Equality and Human Rights Commission carried out an inquiry into disability harassment some years ago, and this is typically where members of the public pick on disabled people, very often people with um, learning difficulties. So the, the question here is, what can public service do to intervene, to protect those individuals, to try and make sure that they don't suffer that harassment? And this can um, involve sharing data better, so that if one authority knows about an individual who's suffered harassment, that can be passed on to another. It can be about taking action to make sure that um, there are opportunities for disabled people to report when they've um, suffered an offence and get something done about it. Turning to human rights, one example that I'd like to share relates to the Care and Social Service Inspectorate Wales. Um, they've been doing some work around human rights and recently um, some staff were inspecting a small home for learning disabled people and realised that those individuals were quite restricted in terms of where they could move around the home, what they could watch on television, what they could eat, what kind of refreshments they took. Um, and the staff from CSSRW realised that uh, some human rights obligations to do with autonomy and family life and private life were not being complied with and when they spoke to people in the care home about this and made some recommendations then 
those people have benefited. They're having a more autonomous life in, in that particular care home. And that's one small example of a small number of individuals. But if you think about the potential that that could have across the whole of Wales, if all the um, auditors, regulators, inspectors were really on top of um, their human rights obligations and their obligations under the public sector equality duty, I think we could really spend our money better uh, and services could be improved and people's lives improved and really at this time of financial austerity we need to rise to that challenge I think.